Today I'll be showing you the render transform overwrite. You see this cube? Well, we don't want to see it. So we go and select the cube and open it up in an inspector. We click attach components. Then we go to rendering. And then we go to render transform override. Now, the cube's still there. What do we have to do? Well, it's simple. First, we need to choose what to override. We want to override its scale property so that it actually shrinks down to nothingness. Then, we need to give it a context. Currently, its context is user view. This means that the current active user will not see this object. So if I grab it, it disappears for me. Now, you can see this because you're not me, actually. You're a camera. So the camera view needs to have this box hidden. Can we do that? Yes, because we have user view, external view, this is for the third person camera for desktop as well as free roam mode. We have the camera view, and as you see the cube is gone. We have the mirror view, which makes disappear in the mirror. We have the portal view, which would make it hidden in portals. Render to asset, which actually is a very funny thing, because what this means is you can have objects that when you take a picture of them, they don't exist. There is no cube. But, as you might notice, if you look at the mirror in the picture, the cube is still there. So you gotta be careful about what contexts you override. Now, that is a simple mesh renderer. This is a skin mesh renderer. How do we do it on an avatar like this? Well, ideally, you select the part of the avatar you want to hide, such as the head. We, I already have that open. Then, we go to attach component again, rendering, render transform override, scale override, and then we simply add two slots here because both the body and also the fluff are in fact part of the head. We change this to camera view, and boom! Now you can no longer see the head of this best boy. However, me, I can still see it. And in the mirror, it's also still visible. So if we set that to user view while I'm wearing the avatar, that would mean that my view could physically never be blocked by his head. Because his head is basically scaled to zero. Now, this actually does not affect the actual scaling of the object, it's just based on rendering. Meaning that if you have something else placed on it, it's still going to, for example, do logic from it. So if you have a raycaster or something like that, any other flux component or component, it will just still work as normal. It simply only changes the rendering. Nothing else. Well, I hope that was helpful. Bye.